Okay. What's going on guys? It's Rusty Moorfield River at Catfishing today. We're out here on the Mississippi River fishing wing dikes. <clears throat> the wing dikes we're fishing don't have any current in them, but they do have multiple drops. Right now we have a drop in a hole there, a drop in a hole there, and another drop back there by that mud bank we're gonna hit here in a little bit. <clears throat> what we're gonna do is just fan cast baits. We've got some really big shad we chunked up into smaller pieces. And I'm here with a special guest, Jared Mercer. How you guys doing? I don't know if you can see him or not, but just like always, Muddy River Blue Cat fishing rod, the uh, Pensqual 20LW. I've got uh, Power Pro on this rod. The other two have Hercules braid. I've got uh, Tackling Cast swivels, the uh, Demon Dragons, and an ADOT Tackling Cat hook. So let's get these out and get some fish in the boat. Here, if that wing dikes out, I want to look up behind it. There should be a nice hole right here. I want to look up behind it and see how that looks. Yeah. So we're just gonna be scouting wing dikes there. Are you a member of the uh, ACA?
right, guys. We're gonna put a seminar on today. Just try not to stand on my line though when it rains. Wait, we're not. I just redid all these yesterday, so I don't want to have to redo camera doubled up no idea what this one weighs let me get pictures all right time to let him go first fish that's pissing me off yeah, this one's got the head on it, and that one's got the head on it. This one's got tapped just a little bit, though. The pink one? Yeah, the pink one. I'm <laughs> fishing with the pink one. I buy a pink rod, man. It don't bother me. Pink's one of my favorite colors, to be honest. Just another color. My uh, shirt or jacket that I got? Yeah. I'm going to do an all one color with a pink. I want to see more girls get into the sport. I mean... There are more now, like in tournament fishing stuff. There you go, right there. Yeah, I see. I might have to move that one because he's been playing with that for a while now. Oh, he's trying to see board. if you can just hook him up. Nothing. Oh, oh, yep. He's on her. He was dragging it towards me. That double hook rig again. So. All right. Got you used to mess with the camera. Oh, he's seeming like a pretty decent one there, bud. Just trying to get him right. Yeah. Fish number four of the day. Let him go. It's probably about 19, 20 pounds. Maybe 21 at top. Difference, it's gonna flip over again, but I got a habit of messing with stuff. <laughs> like I couldn't work around nuclear weapons. I have a habit of pressing buttons. You left rod again. <clears throat> I messed with my buddy one time. We were in a uh, brand new Dodge Neon five speed manual. Mm -hmm. Teach him how to power shift. And it was like this S curve. He was power shifting through it. Right. <laughs> I looked over at him and just ripped, <laughs> ripped the heat rake. Right in the middle of the turn. My buddy in the back didn't have a seatbelt on. Oh. Dude, the car freaking slid, hit this damn curb, spun around like this. Jesus, dude. I was laughing my ass off. Mike's over there flipping around trying to get the car straightened out, and Chad's in the back 
Why does the ghost like this <laughs> holding on to everything? <laughs> right. Now you just get that adrenaline heart pump from drinking eight monsters and two five hour energy. I just don't have that drone anymore. I just don't do anything anymore like that. <laughs> it's a good thing. Probably wouldn't be around. Probably. It wasn't his car either, it was the dealership's car that we all worked at. So it didn't matter to you. We told him some guy cut us off. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I would have got fired, dude. Yeah, of course. We all had our story straight. Mike had to drive the car back and Dale came out and picked us up. Mike got in the car and at first, whenever we stopped in the middle, he went to take off and the car actually went like this. And it was, er, er. the back right wheel was bent underneath mm. the car. <laughs> I was gonna say, you just curved the wheel, you bent that thing under the car. Oh yeah, it did. Especially if it was aluminum. And he drove it all the way back. <laughs> Jesus. Oh yeah, they didn't want to ride with me anymore. I'm kind of scared riding with you in this boat now. Do 50 still just like to jump a wing dike. I have caught more air in this boat more than most people ever have in their life. Well, I, I, I guess I did that in Texoma in January. Me and Brock was in this cove. Huge rock walls and shit. And the wind was, when I say barreling, it was 20 plus mile an hour winds on a lake that was way bigger than I should have been on with this thing. Mm -hmm. Couldn't find any bait. We got everything taken care of, straightened out. I just look at him and said, you ever been to Mexico? <laughs> we came out of that cove, hit the first wave, went in the air, landed and just... <laughs> it was white as a ghost. Dude, that kind of sounds like fun though. Scared the shit out of him. I lost, I lost my knife, all my weights off the back, the top of the cooler <laughs> flew off. One of the rods fell out and luckily fell into the boat. <laughs> Jeez. I get urges every now and then. It's hard to hold them. That scares the hell out of me, too. I'm not going to lie to you right now. Thing is, I knew what I was doing. Right. You're in constant control. Hmm. <laughs> we probably got a good six or seven foot of air. I don't know if that was control or not, but we got it. <laughs> right. Let's find another wing dive. show the camera that's what you call a monster guys wait you got to make it look big hold it up like take the hook out and hold it up yeah glove no <laughs> yeah I'll just go. especially <laughs> in a boat they ain't never been on yeah one that uh took on water and almost sank <laughs> this boat almost sank the day i took it out really yeah, Why absolutely. Is that? because there was a hole in it there's the um the eyes? uh well what it was is the the original drain ooh, ooh. wait a minute wait i don't know let him let him take you got him easy don't lose him we want to get him in is he good uh, here go underneath the other one i'm trying to go you can't go under you can't go under this has to go over otherwise you're going to put Nice channel cat. Yeah. Pretty little guy.
All right, River Rats, that's it for tonight. We're uh, gonna call it a night and uh, we'll be back next Sunday. So stay tuned and subscribe, like, do whatever. Doesn't matter, I'm still gonna make the videos. Naya Jackson, I love you. Keep doing great in school. Empress, I love you, proud of you. You guys take it easy. Thank you for watching.